Hi everyone, Sandra from Scraps of Beauty, and this is just a quick impromptu stream. Uh, if you're watching over on uh, YouTube, this is a live recording over on Ustream.tv. Um, and I just thought um, I'm in a Halloween swap, and I thought I would just come on and try to do the backgrounds and stuff. So if you're watching over on YouTube, I'm just doing some backgrounds for um, an ATC swap. And um, yeah. That's about it. So I'm going to use some dilutions, um, maybe some irresistible sprays. So we'll see how it goes. Um, two others. Here. Yeah, I see that. All right. Um, so first I wanted to show off. Um, I did get from Honey and Clover um, their new uh, Mermaid Tails. Can you see that? Mermaid Tails um, watercolor. And so this is not really a good rendition of it, but because um, I mixed it with this green and I think this green. But um, it's really nice and dark. Um, so I did get that. They were like sold out within like a couple of minutes. So I do want to try to get some of their other watercolors, which I haven't, haven't done that yet. And then um, Sarah O, um, she showed some watercolor um, brushes. And these are from um, Alibaba. And um, they look so cool. I haven't tried them yet. So... If you're interested in, um, and they were reasonable, really reasonable. So, um, so you can see here, if you go on AliExpress, I think it's AliExpress, and pushed in Art Secret, um, these are the, their watercolor brushes. And I love the blue, aqua blue handles. So I did get a size, this is a size 10. This one's a size 10. And then I got the 3. So it's a little bit thicker. I got the two. <laughs> okay. Oh, the mermaid tails paint. I showed it. Here it is. I'm going to do a little bit better. It's really like kind of like this, but a little bit darker. I swatched it. I don't know my book to swatch it, but it's a real pretty jade green. This is kind of watered down, but um, I showed it in a palette. It's this one. It's more this color, much, much darker. So you can see that there's kind of like a teal, a teal green kind of color. It's really pretty. Like I said, this really doesn't show justice to it. Um, oh, here we go. I did swatch it here on this side. This is the color right there. It's a, it's a shimmery. Yeah, it's a, it has, it doesn't really have like shimmer to it, but this is the color right there. It's really pretty. And... Yeah, so Patty will come on later tonight, she says. So for any of you guys who are interested in seeing Patty, she'll be on tonight around 7, she says. So, yeah, it is pretty. Um, and uh, I'm waiting, dying to try these. So, like I said, these look pretty, because um, uh, these were pretty inexpensive. I'm trying to think where my other ones are. Um, and they were much more expensive than this, and they look basically the same. Let me see here. Like I have, As you can see this one, and this one I got from, um, I think Jerry's Armor Adorama, and this is a squirrel quill, and they look so similar. You see? Look very similar. Hi, Kia. <laughs> so, I'll be um, interested to just try those out and let you know how those are. Sarah says she really liked them. She says it holds a lot of water, and they're good for backgrounds, so... So we'll see how that goes. So first off, I am going to put on my gloves in a bottle. So we're going to work with Dilutions Paint. Okay, Patty, we'll see you later. Yeah, she's heading out for some errands. <laughs> All right, so, so this is a Halloween swap. So I did pull out some stuff. And I'm looking, going to use my, probably my Tim Holtz um, stencils. So, oops, that's not bad. <laughs> Hold on, I just have to get that. So I think I'm going to use the minis. Yeah, Patty's going to be doing her watercolors, I think. So. She's been mixing up some different watercolors. So she'll play with that tonight. 
All right, so I think I'm going to look for the bat one. I think I have a pumpkin one, too, as well. So let's see where the hair's a spider web. Spider web. Oh, we have the words. Use that one. I'm looking for the little bats that I had the other day. Hi, Carol. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, we have these we could use too. The poison. Uh, poison ones. There's the bats. In that one. So I just kind of pulled out stuff that I had around, so I'm just going to work with whatever we got. <laughs> right, so I have Tim's bat ones. You see, those are the bats. And then this one, I forget what this one's called. This kind of reminds me of like wicked trees. Then the poison one. This is the words. And the spider web one. Well, I've got that. So I'm thinking of. I don't know. Is, I wish Jennifer. Oh, Jennifer is here. Do you know how many people have signed up already? I don't know whether I should do 36 of the same or 18 of one and 18 of another. So my first one I was thinking about doing is like this. I'll show you. So it's going to have the little cat. And it's going to have, I'll probably emboss this. So the first one's going to look like this, and I'll have the word either trick or treat or something like that on the side. And then the next one I have is, I had um, from Simply Betty. If you know Simply Betty, she used to sell, I don't know if she still sells stamps, or, but I had um, gotten this from her a long time ago. I don't even know where my stamp is, it's just luckily that I... Um, saved my copy so they're actually this big you can see those there and then I shrunk them down I went over to um, Staples and I shrunk them down to this so they're teeny tiny now <laughs> and so I'm thinking of putting them on here with the background with Halloween so do you think you would like everybody would like this one or the other one I'm waiting to see so first off, I'm just going to start with the background, so then you guys can decide whether you think I should do 18 of that one or this one. Those are my two. I'm going to emboss this one. I really like the little skeleton with the little spider web on there. And then I found these little people have told me that they are signing up, but as far, you only have 13. Okay, till the 11th. All right, so, hmm. Well, I'm making enough backgrounds for 36, and I have these little spiders I have, too. And then we'll see what happens. But I wish they would have come out with, um, I really love this. See, this one is Wednesday from the Adams Family. They had a whole series of it. But um, if you guys remember Christian, she's sometimes called Dolphin Girl in the chat. So she actually got the stamps and then um, stamped some for me. So this is Wednesday. And then comes... It's the whole group of them. <laughs> that one, and I think she sent me one more. Yeah, this one. This one here. <laughs> but I think I have this stamp, but I've been looking for it and I can't seem to find it. So. <laughs> Hi, Mitz. All right. So. So, um, I don't know. We'll do the backgrounds, and then I can decide which one, which to do. I'll do this one first anyway, and then if you have a second one, I'll decide whether to do the Adams Family or to do the Kitty. So, so I want to make sure I have enough. So, I think I'm going to do three sheets. So, we'll see. So, I think I'm going to stamp first on here. So, let me see. I did bring some stamps. Hi, Cindy Lou Who? <laughs> um, let me get my stamps. So I have a couple stamps. And 
And then I do have some papers I'm going to put on here as well. I'm thinking that it will be a nice size swap. Yeah, Halloween. Yeah, it should be. And it's early yet, too, because you just announced it, right? Like yesterday, I saw your um, your little video. So, And I had gotten this a couple, I think, like, the year before last for Mod Podge. And these are all Halloween papers. So I think I'm going to stick that in there. And then this was some, um, you know, the shaving cream. And you put your inks on the shaving cream and slide your um, glossy accent from there. Oh, hi, Lori. <laughs> um, and then I sprayed the spider webbing on top of here. So I couldn't find any more of this, the spider webbing. So I don't know if I'll put that in there or not, but we'll see. All right, so, so let's do that first. And then I have this. This was last year's. I think last year's the little recollections there stamp. And then I love this one. This one's like a, um, a tool. Tool? Twall, like a twall. It's got, I love it because it's got like a little trick-or-treaters in here. This one's a really nice one. I mean, you have to really look close. They have the pumpkins and, can you see the little pumpkin face there? This is like graveyard. I really like this stamp. All right, so I have some matte medium. So I'll put that on there first. I need a brush. <coughs> I wish I had my permanent brush <coughs> for matte medium. Oh, here it is. So yes, yeah, so I might come out one more time before I have um, the surgery. I did finally get Floetrol and all that. So I, when Gabby and I did the um, the pouring, we really had no idea what we were doing. <laughs> so I think I'm going to give it one more try. So I might try to come on maybe next week. I'll see. And give it one more try. Right. So I'm going to rip some of this apart. This is all Halloween, come to the haunted house, Halloween festival, cute paper. So let's just rip some of this. of Halloween, Jennifer, so I'm going to send you a package of Halloween stuff. I think, I think GB and you are probably the most excited about Halloween. Okay, I got some of that. <laughs> it's fun watching both of us. I do that too in the split screen like it was, who was on it? a couple of times. You can always like mute one and then watch the other. <laughs> I think she's doing Jane's little puppies, right? I think so. Hey, welcome. <laughs> All right, so we should have enough. We'll do at least two sheets anyway. Let's see how far we get with that. <laughs> Hey, Karen. <laughs> and I'm going to do some stamping. I think you can get both of them in there. So. Maybe I'll put this one this way. Eileen. I know Jean's at her mom's, visiting her mom, so that's nice. Alright. Let's do this one up here. We're going to do some stamping too, so... Alright, so I'm going to stick those down first. I 
your son was born on Halloween. Really? Oh, that's nice. All right. And this is just watercolor paper I have on here. Debbie was on, she was on, was it last night too? Wasn't she doing um, jelly printing? I forget what she was doing. I think I watched her for a little bit too. I haven't heard from Ange. Anybody heard from Ange? I saw her on Friday, but then I haven't really seen too much more of her. Eileen is, Eileen is in the chat. I don't see her in the chat. What's in the, oh, she's in, oh, she's at Debbie's. <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, she's doing okay. Oh, that's good. Is she still planning on moving? She has so much stuff going on. Can't imagine having to move on top of that, too. very cloudy here today too. We're supposed to get some rain, but we haven't had any rain yet. Hi, Jane. I was watching Debbie for a little bit. Those are your puppies that she's doing. And they're cute. Hi, Judy. <laughs> And showed, yes, I was there for a while um, when she was showing the ATCs. Yeah, I think I was there for like, for an hour. Everybody said, when I was saying goodbye, they were saying hi, but I hadn't been there for a while. Hey, Kathy. All right, so there's our first page done. I was just saying, I think it's only you and Jennifer that are like crazy about Halloween. <laughs> oh my gosh, I didn't tell you guys about the mermaid um, parade I went to. It wasn't anything like the zombie one. The zombie one was like a lot more people, but then it's been going on for a lot more years. <laughs> um, but it was cool. I mean, the way they did get dressed up, but I couldn't stay for the parade because it was, it was like still like another two hours away. Um, and it was hard getting the parking there and stuff, but it was fun. Everybody loved my crown. So that was fun. And they always ask, did you make your own crown? I'm like, yes. <laughs> it was too bad. They didn't have a, um, a prize for like, uh, the best crown or something like that. But I think they did pro if you got all dressed up, you know, the whole outfit and all that. My <sighs> genie. Show my picture. Which picture? Which picture? My mermaid picture? <laughs> Hi, Dar. <laughs> Cheshire Cat Dar. Hi everyone, thanks for joining the impromptu. You know, there was nobody streaming and then all of a sudden everybody was streaming, it was funny. From the mermaid thing, oh okay, I think I have it on my phone so I can show you guys. It was so funny because 
it, it's on this big boardwalk in Asbury Park. That's where it was. And so the boardwalk is huge. It's so long, right? And so I went for the parking, and you have to get out of your car and get a go to the meter box and get your ticket for your parking. So, of course, I'm walking, and I've got my mermaid crown on and everything, and people are just, you know, staring. And I'm just like, I wonder if anybody... Because I didn't see anybody dressed up, so I was like, maybe I have the wrong day. And then um, when I went to get my parking ticket, you could just tell they were like, what is going on with this chick? <laughs> so I was like, well, there's supposed to be a mermaid parade here today. <laughs> and they were like, oh. <laughs> so I wind up having to, I think I ran into the pirate first. And I said, where are all the mermaids? He goes, oh, they're all the way down the other end. I'm like, oh, all right. Oh, then I felt a little bit better. But still, <laughs> it was like crazy. All right. All right, so we'll let this dry. Let me get this here. And then we'll do some stamping. Um, so let me see my phone. <laughs> What's funny? Uh, let's see. I'll try to see if I can show it on my phone. Oh, yeah, here we go. And then they had the girls that had the actual mermaid fin. So, let me see. Can you see? So, there, there I am with the crown. <laughs> so, you can see that there. And then I had my shirt on, that one that says, uh, My Animal Spirit is Mermaid. I don't know if you can see that. And I had my mermaid necklace on. <laughs> so, here is the pirate. You can see that. And he didn't get a good picture of it. So then I had to find him later on. This girl was dressed really cool. Can you see her? She had all aqua and green. And then those gold little things are goldfish in her hair. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It was funny. Oh, you can see her better here. She's got blue lipstick on. You can see that. It was really a nice day. I mean, it was sunny. Oh, here's her whole outfit, kind of like gold and green. I should put them on my blog so you could see them a little bit better. And then this was this was her friend. I don't know if you could see that. But she had like a mermaid dress on there. Thanks, Judy. Yeah, the crown. <laughs> and then these girls, there's a, um, a swim and splash there for the kids. So they were going over to that, and they were just getting their little tails on. Um, so there's that one. Let's see if we get a little closer. You could see. <laughs> she was sliding them on. There we go. So they're trying to put their um, their tails on. And then ever somebody said, lift your tails up. <laughs> Look at her. I don't know if you can see her face. Oh, my God. She was, like, struggling. She's like, they're so heavy. <laughs> Look at her. She's like, ugh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This one, she got hers up pretty, pretty well. <laughs> yes, there was, um, when I left, there probably were, like, 30 or 40. And they still had like two hours to go. Let me see. Um, <laughs> yeah, and finally she just said, I can't do it anymore. <laughs> so she's just living, lifting the little tail part up. <laughs> but, oh my gosh. Oh, so she did finally get it all the way up. <laughs> she was struggling, though. <laughs> she was really struggling. And then let's see. So I took a whole bunch of pictures of them. Um... And then this, this guy, he was like the king of the sea. Like he had a big, you can't see a big octopus on his shoulder because her head is covering it. But he was like King Neptune. I if you could see. And she's kissing. Ah. She's kissing the octopus right here. <laughs> that was funny. Um, let me see if I have to. Oh, there you can see it better. She's actually trying to kiss the octopus there. <laughs> And then, let me see. Oh, and then someone took a picture for me, but they got their thumb in the way. <laughs> but, yeah, there you can see. And you can see it was starting to get hot. My face is like beet red. <laughs> and then let's, um, this is this girl. She was all glittery. She had all, like, green glitter on her. Hi, Miko. And <laughs> um, this one's a cute girl, girl here. She was all in purple. I like purple. You can see. I'll put these on my blog so you get a better chance. She was pretty, too. I like her. 
You can see here. It's hard to, there we go. She was all blue and uh, she was pretty. She had a partner, but I don't know where he was. Yeah. You can see she had a like, cute little mask there. Hi, Ange. All right, let's see. What else? Oh, here, and then I finally did find the captain again. <laughs> so you can see there he is. He had his mustache all curled. I should have took a picture of his old outfit. He had a really cool outfit. But can you see how long that boardwalk is? So it, I was on the other side of this building. <laughs> it was long. <laughs> really long. And this is a different pirate here. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, I love this girl's dress. Can you see her? I don't know if you can see her. She had like my favorite outfit on. You can see the back of her. Maybe see. It's hard to see. Her dress was really pretty on the bottom and it was all sequins. See there, maybe. Let's see if you can see that. Really like a mermaid. Thing. It was a lot of fun, yeah. So hopefully next year I'll have a little bit better. And then I had big posters all around on the buildings with the mermaids. <laughs> you can see that there. It was fun. So next year, oh, I did wind up getting a ring, <laughs> mermaid ring. You see that? But it was fun. So I would do it again next year. They say they have one in um, every year at Coney Island which is in New York, probably about an hour and a half from here. So I don't know if I would try to do that. <laughs> All right, so I think that's pretty dry. So let's do some stamping, and then I'm going to put some dilutions on here. So this is an old one. This is uh, Pink Paisley. You can see that Pink Paisley. It's got all different Halloween-ish things on here. So we'll do some stamping. Just some stamping with um, a little bit, and then we'll do some more stamping after. <laughs> Hi, bunny. All right, so now I need to know what I did with my ink. My first of all, ink. There it is. So I might just keep this right here on here, and not even take. I think I will. I have some of those Studio G stamps too on. I don't know where they are. We're just going to go with this. Alright. This is all for the background, yes. Care if it doesn't really get on there all the way. Like I said, it's just for the background, kind of. So. It's just to give it some something. something. We're going to put paint all over this and then re-stamp on it. Do the same thing on this one. The 
this one, I think I'll try to put it on top. See what that's better. See above what I missed it. I missed it, Miko. Tell me again. Let's see, see above. Uh, did you get a mermaid mug like everything putting a mermaid markers in? <laughs> I have a couple of mermaid uh, mugs. I'll show I think I have, do I have them here? I have one of them here. So they get a little bit crisper image when you put that on top and then rub it on. So that looks good. All right, so let's do this one again. My mermaid mark, my one like um, like Jane has, which is a mermaid tail, that one's upstairs. But then I have this one. Can you see this one here? The mermaid. I'll have that. <laughs> All right. way up that. So I'm going to put some paint. Yeah, this way, yeah, it's all at once and it's like um, like tissue paper, you know, that's got like designs all over it. All right. So let me dry this. So heat gun. And then we're going to add some dilutions paint. You know, the dilutions paint is translucent, so hopefully some of this will still show through. Oh, I got to get my chat back. Hold on. Oh my gosh, I love your books that you've been doing and sharing with everybody. Your um, magicals, they look really good. I saw Jen's. Jen's was really nice. I saw Jen's and then I saw Angie's. I don't know if I saw anybody else's. <laughs> they did Janet. Jennifer was like, I want you in the swamp. <laughs> So I was thinking, well, what can I do quick, quick that I could do? Alright. Yeah, they're really nice. You know, and anybody who's interested in Lindy's Magicals, anything Lindy's, they have a sale going on right now till September 5th, um, and it's Labor, the code is Labor Day 17, and you get 25% off of all their stuff. So if you're interested in any of that, Lindy's, um, that's good till the 5th, which is Monday, Tuesday, I think. All right, so I thought we'd start off with some yellow, and I'm dying to, I didn't get a chance to watch Colleen's um, video. Did she play with the new Dilutions um, paints? She got the paints and she got the sprays. Oh, she going crazy. <laughs> um, oh, you know what I forgot was a paper towel. Oh, we'll have to just do with this. It's all Eileen's fault. Oh, now they have a hashtag. It's all Eileen's fault. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> Gaddy says, I'm plugging my ears. <laughs> we couldn't have a Halloween swap, she said, without me. <laughs> so, yeah, so see, so you could still see through. So that's what I was hoping, because it is translucent. So, And it won't be as bright, although I will add some other color on here too, I'm sure. I've got some yellow. Let's put some orange on here. Yeah, 
You're afraid to have a dollar's opinion. Oh, because yours dried up, yeah. Well, now I haven't opened mine since, I can't even remember, since we did the envelopes of mail art. And that had to be, I don't know, a couple years now, right? And this is the first time I'm actually using them. So. I think they have that problem all taken care of, though, now. So. You know what? I need some baby wipes. Who got it off? Oh, Debbie shouldn't have done that. So I still want to see the. Um, she should have stayed on. I think maybe we'll do one at a time. Let's do that. This is what you have. Let me see. We have some purple. Ooh, now that looks a little gummy. <laughs> that looks gummy. So I'm gonna this around. Your plan to stay on until oh okay well that's good then all right um and then I have some green so it may look a lot um you know pretty busy but you know we're gonna cut them up too don't forget oh I got this purple on there I don't have any paper towels so. Oh, that is. I'm going to have to add some water to that. It's pretty thick. See the green? It's pretty thick. Alright. Add that down. I'm just going to rub this with my baby wipe. All right, so that's one. So that's one. These are not the new dilutions. Nope, these are the old ones. No. Nope. But I'm thinking, though, the new ones, they look just like a lighter version of this. So if you added white to these, wouldn't you get that version? I was wondering how Colleen liked hers. Yes, they are acrylic. Yes, Jean, yeah. But they're translucent. You see how I stamped and you could still see the stamping through it? Like the yellow is nice and smooth. The yellow is nice. But that green and the purple is pretty thick. And if they go a long way. Like I could do this whole sheet probably with this yellow. You can see that. I mean, really, you need just a, a tad. So with that little bit, you know, I could do the whole sheet of paper. Now that I did that, I probably should draw this. <laughs> so let me draw this, and then I will heat gun. They're, they're different from the others, yeah. Debating whether I should get them or not. <laughs> 
I really like the light pink. They're more pastel-like. I like them for the translucency of them. Like I said, like here, like you could see it doesn't, it still has color, but you know, what we stamped, you could still see. So, which is nice. I like. And then I also have some magicals we could put on here. I think I'm going to do that. I feel like can I actually rub that on there. Think oh you are Kathy? Yeah. I'm thinking about it. Are you gonna get them from Joggles? I think that's where mostly everybody gets their stuff now. Orange. Charles, the only place you've seen them, yeah. Now, did she try the sprays too? I was wondering about the sprays. They're not on Amazon yet. But did she try the sprays? How were they? Oh, let's see. Should we go with some purple? Oh, that is really. It's almost like got a skin on it. Look at that. Ugh. Oh, that's really bad. Can you see that? It's like. Um, all caked up like. Can you see that? I can't see you. <laughs> see how gooey that is? But now, if you watch Carolyn Doobie, she doesn't care that they're all gooed up like that. She still, she'll still use them, no matter what. <laughs> I don't want to make too much of a brown mess. <laughs> I don't think she has the sprays either. She has sprays it's going to them. No, Colleen, I think she showed it on her Instagram. She has the sprays and she got the sprays and that. Let's put some green on here. So I was wondering if she used the sprays or not. Just probably no more. <laughs> yeah, they ask her to do a stream on because she has both. She she got those and she got the new Dilution uh, ruler of um, Diane Reevely, and she got uh, what else? She got some of the stamps too. Yeah. So I was wondering what the sprays were. All right, so we got some of that. <clears throat> so let me close this up now. <clears throat> So I'm going to have to add some water to these. I should open up the other ones, too. <clears throat> but the purple one is, ugh, that's not too good. I might have to call Ranger on that. We'll see. <clears throat> I mean, they still work fine, but it's still, like, gooey. All right. So let's do some... Um, Maybe we'll do some more stamping a little bit more. Let me get the other one. And I have some texture paste on here. So let me dry this. It's still a little wet. So heat gun. You feel like an artist, Jane. That's good. It's a watercolor. I have my um, Lindy spray.
<laughs> Why are our pants on fire? <laughs> Who is? <laughs> oh, Janet? Yeah, no, I don't believe that, Janet. You know, Lindy's has a 25% off this weekend, right? <laughs> Janet's doing amazing things with the Lindy's. Okay, so we have that going. So let me pull out mm, what this. Let me see if this, so this sometimes goes hard too. So let's see. So we'll put this with, um, well, let's see. Maybe we'll use this stencil here, this one. So this is Viva, um, I think it's Viva Decor Modeling Cream. So let's see. Um, sometimes I open up these jars and they're hard as a rock. So we'll see how it goes. Of course, I can never open it. <laughs> Don't look, Paula. <laughs> She saw me with these scissors. It's just like, oh, I can never open these. There we go. Oh, that looks pretty good. Nice and soft. Yay. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, good. So I think we're going to use um, this. So I'm going to add a couple of this on here. Can you see? Yeah, you can see. And it's shimmery too, which I like. So we're just going to add a few places here and there. Oh, I messed up that one. Can you see that there? You can see. I put it on a darker plug so you can see it here. would have to live in my house. <laughs> oh my gosh, I've been working. I finally got all the stuff off of my hallway that I had going. Now I have to clear off um, one section in my bedroom, get rid of that stuff. And then I still have, you know, where I was upstairs streaming. I have to reorganize all of that still. <laughs> oh, so there you can see that. See how cool that is? Okay, bye, Ange. Mm -hmm. All right, so we have that. So we should cut that up. I'm going to put a little bit in here. I want to get some on e each little ATC card. So. We have a little bit of that going on. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. We'll do the same thing with this. still find this they don't really make it it's hard to find but you can go find it at Joann's I um get I still get find this at Joann's I want to put some bats on here as well, so let's do that. 
I think I, oh, I think I left that upstairs. We'll have to see. It's it's made by the same company. So this one is called Gold Green. It's modeling cream from Viva. It's very shiny. It's got like a gold, it's green gold like it is pretty. I really like this paste. You can see it there. There it is. All right, so let's we'll have to dry that. Oh, let me spot here. Let's get the rest of this off. Yeah, it has nice that it has this big lid on here. I really should put Vaseline around there, like Bob says. Um, but. All right, let me wash this one off. It's like guacamole. <laughs> All right. So we'll dry that. That looks good. So I'm going to use a heat gun and we'll dry that. Can you use a mic mixed in with the modeling paste? Yes, you could. But this one's pretty shiny already, so... Um, so let's dry this. Oh, I gotta clean this one off. I might have some mic. We'll could try it. Uh, let's see. All right, heat gun. But it, has, it forms, it's like, I don't know how to explain it, like it's a really thin, but it's still like 3D-ish. I don't know if you can see it. But it makes it nice and crisp. Like your stencils come out really crisp with that cream. Now they went down and mixed some gold mica powder <laughs> with modeling paste. Black. I'm trying to see where I have my. I'm gonna put some bats on here. So do I have any of this stuff? I have some of this, but I don't think I have it in black. Nope. Oh, we have blue. Hmm. Let's see what other stencils I have here. words on here. I want to do the bats first. But I wish I had some black. Let's see what I have here. Maybe we can just use some of this. This is which one is this? Uh, this one's called Halamite. It's kind of like a gray. I don't know if you can see it. It's like a gray blue lake. This one is the Inca Inca gold. So let's see if I have a sponge. Then I do put a baby wipe, like Barb says. Although, yep, that's good. All right, so. Uh, some of mine have dried up, and then some of them haven't. And they say if you don't touch, like, touch this with your fingers, you won't get mold in it. So I don't know how true that is, but... Uh, 
there. You can see that. You can see that there. Yours dried up like rock, yeah. I have a couple that have, but now that I put the baby wipes in there, I seem to have a little bit better luck. So there you can see the little bats there. Aren't they cute? Yeah, I've even tried like to add water to it. It doesn't help. Once it's dried up, it's pretty much gone. <laughs> Barb said, if you put it really wet, baby wipe constitutes and dry. Yeah, I did. Like I'll have to change that because now this I had this one in there, and um, it seems you know it's staying pretty good. But some I've had that are like really hard as a rock. There's like no saving it. Yeah, you can see that one. Yeah, try putting the baby wipe in there and see. So your words what words oh, about the baby wipe yeah Barb puts a baby wipe in and for if you're watching over on YouTube and you don't know who Barb is she is how to get creative and she does YouTube live videos um, so we're talking about Barb um, Owens and you can find her on YouTube So I said we really want to make this really busy because we're going to be cutting it up. So I want to make sure that I get, you know, pieces of um, different pieces in there. So even though it might look really busy, once we cut that little section up, you're not going to uh, see it. Um, you can't see the words. What words? What can't you see? I'll try baby my eyes. You can't see your words. What words? I can still see the words. You mean like this and this? Poison? You can read that? Is that what you mean? <laughs> you can still read it. All right. Let's put some on the other one. I'll put a little bit in here. Uh, I'm not. I'm missing it, Judy. I'm missing what you mean. <laughs> Never mind. It was a oh, <laughs> lost chat joke. Okay, got it. <laughs> So for those of you who came late, Patty, and she's Inky Obsession here, um, she's talking about streaming tonight, later tonight, and around 7-ish, she said. And she's going to be playing with her watercolors. All right, so I think we got enough on that. So let's put some on here. And I was looking for my um, Sharpie water uh, so that we could do some splats. I might have to just do it with some gesso. Uh, tries to keep up with all. Yeah, I do try. <laughs> I'm I'm not too good at that part. I'm keeping up with the chat. I'm always like way behind. <laughs> I'm always missing it. So 
It may even just get one or two bats on there, but at least, you know, it'll be cute. I really like the minis. Um, I think I like the bit of his uh, minis. Do you see he came out with all his new Christmas stuff, Tim? He's got some new stamps, and he did get some new Christmas um, mini stencils. I don't think he come out. Did he come out with any? I didn't see him with too many thinlets, did he? I don't remember if I saw that part. But the, he had a YouTube live, and um, all the cards that he showed that from his design team. Oh my gosh, they were really nice. everyone for popping in on our Sunday. All right, this one's a lot busier than the other sheet. <laughs> All right, got that right here. All right, there we go. So we got that. I think I want more color right in here. This is just like green, yellow. All right, so let's do that. Let's clean this up. Need another wipe. Uh, is it too late now, Miko? You could do the swap. Jennifer's um, has a YouTube video up about it, um, and you have to join by September 11th. Anybody here is um, Jennifer. Put your channel up. It's Jennifer. Is that under your name, Jennifer, if you're interested in joining her um, Halloween swap? That's Jennifer McCracken. Yes, it's on Ustream, but what's your exact Ustream title? I'll have to post it in, um, I'll put it in the description box below when I do the, the link. All right, so we got that done. So let me put another baby wipe in here, a fresh one. And just you just roll it all up in here like that, and then just close it up, and hopefully it won't dry out. So far, mine haven't. Any of the ones that I put the baby wipe in. Yep, you want to join us to swap? Yep, just contact Jennifer, and um, she'll get you hooked up there. All right, so what shall we do now with these? Maybe add a little bit more. This one needs... A little bit more stamping or spraying. Let's see what I have. I do have some Lindy's. So let's see. I have some Lindy's. This one is called Heart Hogwarts Orange. This one is Midnight Ravenous Raven. It's black. We don't want black. Um... Oh, there it is. You stream live channel. Oh my gosh. This is, I'll have to get it and I'll put it in the description. So in case anybody wants to uh, join. This one is called Sweet Violet Purple Teal. And I have this one is Freaky Frankenstein. This is a nice teal green. So let's see what we have. I might just, I wonder if I have any splat signs, let's see what we have here, that we could just spritz something. I want something closed so it doesn't like cover the whole thing. We could probably, let's see what we have. Hearts, 
So I don't want to cover the whole thing. I could do the words maybe for this one. I like this one too. This one is like um huh. I could use that. I want to speak. <laughs> well, something like this. This is what I want. The polka dots. I want to add some white on here too. Right. Let's test them out first and see what they're like. <laughs> I don't. I don't have um. I don't have like a a chart for this one. Hi, Joan. <laughs> yeah, I thought I'd stream. Jennifer talked me into doing the Halloween swap, so. Um, I thought I would just come and stream for for a bit, at least get the backgrounds done. All right, so this is my purple. This is like a purple blue. So let's see what this is like. So I don't know if I want to use that. Let's try the green. Some of that on there the green I think we'll do that we'll do the green let's try that I might just even do that let's see. where's this other one so I'm gonna just spritz on here on this one so let's stay with the green on this just think I'm going to squirt it on here and use it like this just have some green splots on there Right, so then this one, I think maybe we will do the purple. Well, let's see what this orange is like. So that was a freaky Frankenstein, what I do at the top. Let's see what this orange one is. Red orange. Let's see what that looks like. Ooh, that might look like a little bit like ugh, blood. <laughs> All right, so let's try those. Then we'll see what else we can add on here. The fun is always when you cut them up what they look like. So like this one needs definitely more color in there. This one's going to be almost all purple. I'll we'll have to add some white on here. We'll do the skull heads in white. How's that? I 
this green one's really shimmery. I like the green a lot. I might have to put some more green on here. I don't know if you could see right in here how shimmery the green is. I don't know if you could see that. It's really pretty though, the green. I'm not wild too much about the red. It's not really shimmery. It should be though. It's a starburst one. Right, let's add some more green. Some more green on here. Add some white um, skulls on here, I think. Thanks, Jennifer. <laughs> I think it's only going to make 18, though. I want to squirt some green all over it. I really like that green. <laughs> See how that dries, because that has like um like a gold tint to it or something. So let's see if we can put some more green on there. Okay, we'll dry these, and we're gonna put the white skulls on there, and then see how much more we got. So heat gun one more time. Yeah, this one is really shimmery, this green. This one is the um, Freaky Frankenstein, yeah. You can see how shimmery it is on the bottom. They do a day before my birthday. This is October 16th they're due. My birthday's on the 17th. That green is shimmery. Can you see the um if you can see the shimmer? Right, right in there. That green is really pretty. Now I want to see, this one I think probably has enough. Once we put the white on there, we should be good to go. <laughs> Thanks, Nico. Let me get the other one. Let's see this one. My surgery is the 19th of September, so just a couple weeks. It's actually, let's see, I had um, a root canal done on Wednesday, which I have to have the other part done this Wednesday. And then I go to my physician to clear me for surgery on Friday. And then the following Tuesday, I go to New York to get cleared for the surgeon in New York. 
and then the following week, then I have the surgery. So, three more weeks. So I've been having to do my exercises for my knee three times a day. They gave me like six or seven exercises to do. Some of them are easy, but there's one or two of them that are like, oh my gosh, kill me. <laughs> Yes, you can use glitter. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'm glad we used a dilution to paint for this because, like I said, it's so translucent. That you still saw all the stamping, so which is nice. Alright, let's do that. Alright, so the last thing we're gonna do is put some white gesso on here. Put the skulls on there. So let's see. This one is matte medium. I'm wondering if I should use Jane's or do I have Liquitex up here? Oh, let's see if I have any white Liquitex. Or maybe we even we should try... Thanks, Joan. <laughs> I'm hoping it does. Like, so it will help you heal. Yeah, I hope so. They say, well, when I had my first surgery done, I was in the hospital for like 10 days. They say this one, I'll only be in the hospital for two days, which I'm kind of shocked. I mean, I'm happy, but I'm kind of shocked if that's really true, that they improved it that much. Um, I'm looking for some white, I thought I had some white, um, what do you call it up here? Hold on, let me just look. Some white, white Liquitex, I thought I did. Alright, we're going to have to try Jane's and see, oh yeah, here it is. Here it is. So, let me get a, see if I can use the same sponge. I'm going to need a makeup, I think I could use this one. Let's try it and see. Yeah, the exercises, yeah, I've been doing the exercises, so. I'm supposed to do them three times. Mm, I get at least two done, not always three. <laughs> All right, so. Let's see. Let's put a little bit of white just on here. I mean, white paint on here and see how it goes. They had them, yeah, I know they get you up moving right away because um, I had that with my other one. But I was just kind of shocked that um, they only keep you in the hospital that long. Now, this color is probably, the dilutions usually come through on the white. So let's see what happens. Yeah, see the dilutions? See how it's, I don't know if you can see it's tart tinting. And this one's not really, not really doing that well. So let me see, maybe I need to. Because I, um, I don't want it like mushed. I want, yeah, this not going. The stencil's not that good for that. See, it looks just like one big mishmash face. I wonder why. And I don't have my white dilutions here to spray. Probably it's better if we sprayed through here. Let's see. This is a pearl one. I wonder what this would be. Let's try this. They may get up the next day. Ooh, their back surgery. I know. Yeah, but they do the same thing. You have your knee done and they get you right up, so. Well, this one's open. All right. Let's see what this looks like. So that white gesso's not working. Just looks like a big blob. So let's see. And that's going to reactivate some of that. Um, I don't have a, what do you call it? I don't have any paper towels with me. Yeah, that's not going to work either. Mm, not too crazy about the stencil. Well, you can't see it, though. Can you see the skull? You can see the skull right in there. Let me 
just try one more time. I wish I had a paper towel. <laughs> I don't. You kind of can see it a little, but not really. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe once I dry it. Let me dry a heat gun. <laughs> See the one face in there. Yeah, you can't see it. Very faint. I'll show it to you in a second. Yeah, there you are. Can you see? There's the skull and the bones. It looks better on this side, probably. Right there. There you can see it. Perfect. So it works better with the spray. Black gesso. What about black gesso? For the skulls, I want it so much. I want it to kind of lighten it up now. Like, I think I just need to put, um, I'm trying to think what we could use that be white, white. If I had one of my Sharpie pens here, we could probably sprinkle on there. I do have some, let's see, let's try this. Let's, I'm going to try this pearl and just kind of like dab it, you know, splot it on, see what happens. Let's see what happens with that. Let's see if we... If we could splot it. I should have a yep, um, fan brush with that. I'm going to put some, you can see that, I'm going to put some paint over here. I'm going to add some water. <laughs> Thanks, Judy. <laughs> Oh, I know we can use. Oh, yeah, there it goes. Now, whether it'll stay white, I don't know, because we'll have to wait and see. Got some white spots on there on that one. All right, let's, <laughs> who's cranky? All right, heat gun. Let's see if they stay white or if the color comes through. It's pretty white still. Yeah, it's still pretty white, so that's good. <laughs> Snickers? <laughs> Somebody's pranking they need Snickers? Now that green makes it really shimmery. I really like that green. Alright, 
Let me wipe this up so I don't get it all over me. There we go. So I'm trying to see what else I have left if we want to add anything else to this. <laughs> Let's see. I think we should put some spider webs in here. I don't want the label part in here. I'm wondering if we should, I wonder if I have my embossing powder in here. Embossing ink. To make the spider web sparkly. So I have this Midnight Sparkle, but do I have, I could do it with Distress Ink though, couldn't I? For some embossing, embossing ink. What happened? <laughs> Cheddar cheese Doritos. <laughs> uh. All right, so I need embossing, embossing. Let me get my distress ink. Hold on. Let me get that. Hold on a second. Oh, wait, I have it. I have my embossing one. Good. I have my embossing one. I wish I had a smaller spider stamp, but this one will have to do. So let's do that. Let's see how wet this is. I don't know if it is. Even if we only get part of it on there, that's fine. See what happens. <laughs> All right, so now I need one of those coffee filters. Oh, I have one. Hold on. Someone gave me one of these big coffee filters. So it's perfect for um, putting your embossing powder in there. All right, so let's see. I can't tell where it's wet, so I'll just have to swing it. good, doesn't it? Let's put that in a couple of other places. Never heard of the Three Musketeers bar. Joan, you're missing out. <laughs> Look how good that looks. Now we have to heat set that. All right, so I'm trying to think when we cut it up, I want like kind of everybody to get a little piece of that. So let's put this back in here. Let me heat set this first, and then we can add some more on there. Thanks, Judy. Okay, so heat gun one more time. I 
Brenda? <laughs> Wanna work on Halloween cards now? Okay. That looks good. Let's see. Um, I had a couple more. Because when I cut this up, like this card won't get any. So let's add some more. Oh, I didn't do the Halloween part either. Let's do that. And then after this, we'll cut it up. I think that'll be enough on here. Thing is, I can't remember where I put it now. <laughs> there it goes. So we have a little bit more on there like that. And I think I'll just put a little bit on this side and then we can call this one done. Whoops. I wish I had another stamp. Let's see if I have another. Oh, you know what? Where's that one with the, um, hold on. my other this one's a cute little owl we can put that and I like this one well that one so let's see add that there So there's a cute little owl there. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Alright, so that should get, everybody should get a little piece of something. Maybe I'll add one more little owl here. Or let's do the Halloween. See to make sure that everybody gets a little piece of something. Okay, so I think that one is pretty much done. So let's heat set this. <laughs> oh, thanks. Then we'll do the other one, and then we can cut it up, and then it'll be almost time for me for dinner. <laughs>
close this up before I put the heat gun on there. So heat gun. sure I got it all. All bit embossed. Okay. I'm going to call this sheet done. <laughs> That's pretty busy. <laughs> so we'll see. See how it goes. So let's just stamp this one really quick. more owls on this one. so much embossing powder and I can't even remember the last time I used it. Like I hardly ever use it but I love it. Whoops, nothing on there. I put anything there? Nope. I can't find oh there he is. do some more of uh, magical coasters. Well, that would be pretty. Uh, did I do any more? I can't remember. Nope. Yep, there's one. Nope. Did I do any in the middle here? No. Okay, so there's those cute little owls. So let's do some spider webs on this one and then it will call it done. Could put some drippage too. I don't know, maybe. Let's see. There we go. Isn't that cool? Do I think we need something that I put anything here? No. <laughs> Alright, so let's add some more of that. It 
such owl. I have to um, I have to heat set it because I already like wiped my little, poor little owl's eye off. <laughs> All right, so let's put the rest of this on. Because I forgot I don't have it um, heat set. I don't know if I put anything anywhere else. All right. All right. So let's heat set this. And then we can cut it up. So heat gun. more and we can cut it up. Oh my, I messed them up. All right, so let's see. We need any more? Maybe just here. Maybe just one right there. I can't tell if I have something on there or not. No. Let's do this one. Deadly evil laugh or what? <laughs> All right. Well, let me stick this in there and then I think we're ready to cut it up. Let me just put all this back. last time and then we can cut it. <laughs> Eileen, what happened with Eileen? Thanks, Carol. <laughs> So it is two and a half, right? Two and a half by three and a half. Where's the other one? I'll drop it behind me. <clears throat> so 
So I'll show you both papers before we cut it up. <laughs> Left because Arlene oh is silent, but definitely. <laughs> Uh, right two and a half by three and a half so here's the two papers so I'll show you this one first so there's that and then oh I gotta clean my stamps too so let me do that there's this one <laughs> she got picked cleaned up by Oh no. <laughs> All right, so let me just clean my stamps off and then we'll cut this up. Oh, thanks, Brenda. Thanks, Judy. So it is two and a half, right? Two and a half by three and a half. Just gonna double check before I cut it up. I know cutting up is the fun part. <laughs> so clear the whole of this out of the way. Stick this back on here. Yes, two and a half by three and a half. Okay, so my paper is, do I have a ruler in here? I don't. This paper is, this paper is 12 by, 12 by 9. So, how am I going to cut this? How am I going to cut it to get it the best way? 12 by 9. So, I'm doing 3.5 and 3.5, and and which is 7. And then 2.5 would give me. I don't, know, I don't know. Is it better if I cut it 2.5 this way? Let me just mark it. Let's see. If we did two and a half, that's all. So I get one, two, three. I have that little piece left over. It's like a inch and a half. And then if I do three and a half, three and a half. Three and a half. So I should get three across, right? So that's three, six, nine. I should get nine out of here. So nine, eighteen. So it looks like I'm doing eighteen. <laughs> um, but now, what part do I want to cut off and what part do I want to keep? That is the question. So let's see. What did I say? Inch and a half is going to be cut off. So if we cut off this part, this has a lot of purple. Ugh. This is the hard part, cutting it now. <laughs> two and a half by two and a half. I really like this part. Probably could lose this part. All right, let's just go for it. So I'm gonna do two and a half first. I always do like one fifteenth, sixteenths, just so you could get it in by the time you put embellishments and stuff like that. All right, that's two and a half. Yeah, crooked. Why? Why do you want me to wait? 
There's a way to get 10 out of 8 and half by 11. Oh, well, how do I do it? I already cut this one now, so we get 10 out of the next one. <laughs> That's exactly right. I had been lurking because I didn't have much time. Well, how do I do it now? Well, I have to cut this one up because this one's already cut up, right? Because if I did, because what is this now? This is, yeah, I already did this one. <laughs> I can't wait. I have to, I already did this one now. There's no way of saving this one. I'm waiting. They say you can get 10 out of a sheet. So let's see. I think you can still do it. Really? Okay. So I'm waiting then. I'm waiting on you guys. It's not a uh, misunderstanding. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, you can cut three and a half and two and a half. You can cut one, three and a half, and two and a half. Okay, so what does that mean? Three and a half, two and a half. All right, so I have one cut three and a half by two and a half. Do more two and a half rows. Do more two and a half rows. Uh, you can cut one three and a half by two and a half, then two and a half down the sides of each last row. Ooh, I don't know if I'm following you guys. <laughs> cut one three and a half and two and a half. Okay, so let's see. Three and a half. So you're saying I should do the three and a half first? This way? Three and a half? And then cut two and a half down the sides of the last row. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Have John <to> call me. <laughs> but I already cut one. I already cut this one at two and a half. So what's my next measurement? Do another two and a half. That will leave three and a half. All right. So if I cut another one at two and a half, that's what they're telling me. Cut another one at two and a half. There we go. This will leave this one at three and a half. That's what you're telling me? Three and a half. Okay, let's see. Three and a half. All right, so I'm just going with it. See what happens. Then cut these in two and a half. Let's see. Two, three, four. All right, there's four out of that one. And this one has to be three and a half. So, let's see. There's a diagram for cutting. Oh, okay, thanks, Denise. <laughs> I'll do that with the next one. So hold on. I'm going to lose my chat for a second. Let me go see. Go make something out of it. All right, hold on. So this is three and a half. I want to cut this little stream off here, this little white piece on there. I'll do the next one that way. Let's see how many we get out of this one. Okay, so that's seven. I think we did it, didn't we? <laughs> that's eight. Nine. Ten. We got ten out of there. Uh, do I want that part or that part? Let's do that one. Okay, we got ten. Luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We did it. So that's by cutting the two and a half first, right? And then cutting another two and a half. <laughs> we did it. Ten. All right. So let me try it again. Let's see what I want to do here. Uh, well, we want to keep the owl. So all right. So we're gonna try it again. So two and a half. Cut 
the two and a half. Then we cut another two and a half. And I'm trying to think. Another two and a half. That will leave us with the three and a half. Then we get the three and a half. <laughs> yeah. So where do I want this three and a half to go? Do I want to cut this part off? The Happy Halloween. I'm going to cut this part off. Three and a half, right? Okay, there, we did it. Yay, this looks crooked though. Is it crooked? I don't know. All right, and then two and a half. <laughs> Yay, we did it. Two and a half. Two and a half. Two and a half. I want to keep the owl. I want to keep the owl on here. I really like that yellow and green, though. Let's see. Two and a half. Two and a half. All right, so then we need three and a half. Three and a half. And three and a half. Oh, I'm going to cut the little owl off. Let me see if I can do... I want to keep the owl on there, so I'm going to do that. Huh? Three and a half. Oh, well, I'm going to show them to you up close then. I'll get closer so you can see. One. Ah, cut them right in half. <laughs> cut them in half. Okay. Oh. I'm going to bring you in closer so you can see them because I like when we cut them up. Don't throw away the bits. I won't. Uh, let's see. Let me bring you in a little bit closer. Okay, let's see how that is. And I just have to ink them, and then we'll see what they look like with the little Adams family on there. Let's see if I have something I can put them on here. I'm going to put them on here so you can see better. All right, so there's one, two. Look, the owl is really cute, isn't it? So that's two. We'll sit them like this. So each one has a little bit of embossing on there. There's that one. For tags and page markers. Okay, I will. So that's those two. That one. Now you can see that green. Can you see the sparkle in that green? I don't know if I could show it to you. That green is so sparkly. You can kind of see it there a little bit. Right there. <laughs> so they'll all be a little different, but kind of the same. So there we go. There's that one. There's those. Get the shine. You can see the shine on them there. Thanks, Kia. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. I think it is coming out cool. I love the um, I love the backgrounds. There's that one. Thanks, Monique. Thanks, everyone. Hi, Tammy. I didn't see you there. So there's this. I love the ones where the little owl is peeking through. You see that one? They look cute. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to spread the rest of them out, but let's see what it looks like with... Um, oh, God, I got a mess here. <laughs> Oh, I like those. Can you see that? I want to see if you get the shine on there. 
little glittery shine there. But all right, so I'm gonna put one with the Adams, the little Adams family on there. Let's see what it'll look like, and then I'll probably add some other stuff. But let's see. So it'll be something like this with a little thing that says Halloween, something like that. <laughs> Well, there's only 18 here. I'd have to make, like, two more sheets. <laughs> so I don't know. I'll see. Jennifer, you let me know how many people and then whether I'll decide whether I'm going to. So where's the little kitty cat? Remember? Oh, yeah. Then I had the cat, too. So we think you want the, I really think I like the Adams, little Adams family <laughs> better on them. Because look how cute they look. I probably put something white, a little white behind them, like a. Put them in a frame or something like that. Let's see, they'll go, go like that. They'll go on top like that. Because they're, they're blend in right now too much, so I'll probably put something white on them and then put them on. But don't they look cute? <laughs> yeah, let me know. And then if next week, if... If you have more than, you know, the 30 people, then maybe next week I'll come on and we'll do it again. <laughs> you have 20 so far. Oh, my gosh. Well, I'll probably have to make more. I'll probably make the two sets then. So, all right, so it's time for my dinner. Thanks for joining me on your Sunday. Don't forget Patty's going to stream tonight. So, thanks, Kat. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> So, yeah, I have 20 now, but let me know how many um, people you'll have on there. I really like the ones with the purple, the purple background. I sh should have put some more purple, but he still came out pretty cute. Pretty cute. No, I have 20. I cut 10 out of each one, but I don't know how many she has. So, oh, thanks. Thanks. You're welcome. I'm glad to have you, Judy. I'm glad to have everyone. So, all right. Have a good weekend. <laughs> I mean, weekend. A oh, good week, and I'll see you either at Patty's or um, Dee Dee's tomorrow morning. So, bye everyone. Thanks. <laughs>